So last night I crashed with some of the uh, musicians and people at the party in this little little cool cottage here. It's really nice. And this is all like Scottish, Irish, Celtic, Gaelic countryside. It's just kind of cool part of Canada, Cape Breton. A lot of uh, a lot of Irish, a lot of Scottish influence, and uh, kind of looks like rolling hills, you know. If you look behind me, some rolling hills, you know, kind of the same kind of stuff you'd expect to see down there. That's cool. Anyway, um, no one's getting up. It's already like 11 o'clock, and uh, frankly, I have a lot of Cape Breton I want to see, but unfortunately, my motorcycle is still at the venue because I had a couple drinks last night. I left it there and uh, hitched a ride with some people here. Um, no one's getting up though and I <laughs> I want to get this day started so I'm gonna hike. So it's nice to have the backpack like this though, you know, so I can hike with it. Anyway, hopefully I'll make it. I might hitchhike. We'll see. The famous generosity of the East Coaster seems to have uh, dried up this morning. Maybe they're on a rush on the way to church or something. I've had maybe a couple dozen cars pass me by. Nothing yet, but this is my first time really hitchhiking. I did it like a couple times when I was really young, but this may be my first real time. Out in the middle of nowhere, around people I don't really know. So uh, I have no idea. And I have a feeling I look kind of scary. So I can understand why they wouldn't pick me up. On the plus side, I am getting a spectacular workout. <laughs> I'm gonna be sore one by the time I get there. I think it's about two and a half hours if I walk the whole way from uh, that cabin I was at all the way back to my motorcycle. <sighs> and then we get to go ride the Capit Trail. It's gonna be it's gonna be a long day, but I'm gonna sleep well tonight for sure. So they stopped. was bound to run out eventually, I guess. <laughs> oh well, I still have another like two hours of hiking, so who knows? We'll see what happens. Could pick uglier places to have to uh, hike. I think I'm doing pretty good. Hey, look who I found. Hi! It's my friend from yesterday, she's driving back and then uh, Maybe I should have just waited. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, I'll be back on the bike in a minute. So today I'm doing the Cabot Trail. I have a confession. All that hiking I did and, and picking out the motorbike, I, I forgot my scarf at the house. 
So I went back to the house and all my friends I didn't think were there, were there actually, they've been camping. Like the girl who picked me up, her car was still in the driveway when I left. Like I knew she was going to, she was supposed to, she said she was going to give me a drive and, and I knew she was going to and I just like, I feel like an idiot. Like I went back to that house and like everybody's there and they're like, yeah, did you enjoy your walk? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I've been traveling now for a few weeks and, and it, it just kind of like, I don't have the van to like chill out. I don't have my house. I don't have my, any, all my stuff. It's, it's a little stressful. It's like the, the hospitality has been amazing. It's been fantastic. These people are great and it's not on them. It's totally on me. I'm just exhausted. You know, um, I want to sleep in like, and I want to like watch Netflix and just sit around because sometimes you just want to do that. And, uh, <laughs> I also want to do this. I also want to travel and see one of the most beautiful places on earth. So I'm just going to have to settle for just that today. And uh, we'll sort out the rest when I get back to my van. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate it when you stare. I hate your big dumb combat boots and the way you read my mind. I hate you so much it makes me sick. It even makes me run. I hate it. I hate the way you're always right. I hate it when you lie. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse when you make me cry. I hate it when you're not around and the fact that you didn't call. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Even a little bit. Not even at all. This place is on the list apparently and I have yet to eat crab anything or fried clams or there's just a lot of East Coast food I haven't tried yet so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna go see if I can not find myself something unique. That's the rusty anchor I guess. In case I haven't made myself completely clear I am terrified of lobsters. It's uh, I'm more afraid of lobsters than I am of heights or you know of a brick and mortar house or commitments, so yeah, pretty scared. And I think I'm gonna order a lobster roll and vanquish my enemy. I mean, even the meat looks evil. It's like red. Kind of scary. Okay, I know lobster in this form isn't scary or anything, but it's a good first step. Okay. Plus, there are lobster dinners. It's like 
halfway between fish and scallops. Oh, that is good.